Hi guys, it's Amy with A to Z Stamping.com. Today I wanted to show you some really cool flowers you can make using the Festive Builder Punch. That's this right here. This punch, let's see, can you see it real well there? This punch is on the retiring list, so it's only available while supplies last. But I don't want you guys to miss out on this. So it's available while supplies last or available until May 31st, 2017. But this punch is so cool. Uh, for all of you paper crafters out there, you're going to want this uh, to make 3D flowers. You don't even need um, a stamp set or anything to go along with it. You just um, want to use this. And I'll show you um, what it can do. So first of all, all of our um, punches store flat and then when you want to use them you just click the bottom to open it up again this is called the festive builder punch and basically what this does if you see it here um, it cuts one two three there's four different pieces now you don't necessarily want um, all of the same color but you also don't need the same amount so if you don't want to waste your paper I'll show you a trick but in order to make this flower and it's a poinsettia is the basic flower um, that this would make. You would want eight of the large, four of this one, two of these, and then uh, one or two of these if you're choosing to use that. So what I do is I take, I find that I can get everything cut out um, with a basic piece of cardstock. So this is a piece of real red cardstock and it's um, cut at three inches by 12. Um, you could probably get away with using a three inch by 11 inch piece of cardstock as well. And I start out by punching all the pieces. So I go ahead and I put it in there and I do them all. So I've got one, dump them out, two, okay. Now, okay, move them all to the side. Now I need, so now I've got two of each of them. Now I need two more of this size. So I'm just gonna feed it in here I'm going to feed it in here to where only that's showing. And I go one and two. So I've got two more of these. And then I need six more of the big ones. So I'm going to start at this end of my cardstock. And I don't care that the little scrap pieces are getting punched out because I don't need those anymore. So one, two, Crops out. Three, four, five, and then I can usually get one more. Dump all those pieces out out of an end piece here. So let me turn. Let me turn this sideways. And let's see here. Um. Go right here and six okay so when it's all said and done and you get rid of all the scraps you would be left with your pieces and I already had cut some earlier so again I have eight of the larger size let me close this up again so I have eight of the big ones four of the smaller ones, two of this double one. All right. So what you're also going to want is two circles cut out in the same cardstock that your flower is. Um, it doesn't really matter what size uh, circle punch you use. I used a one and a quarter inch circle punch because that's just what I had. But you can use um, anything, a one inch, a three quarter inch would be fine. All right. So the first thing I like to do is I like to take all of my petals and kind of fold them just a little bit, fold them in half just to give them some texture. Um, this is a smaller one. All right, so I just take my fingers and fold them in half. It's okay if you crinkle them up a little bit. Now this punch does work with the Reason for the Season stamp set. That stamp um, set has a punch on it where you can punch the leaves of the poinsettia. So it's really pretty if you punch real red on the real red. It also has um, the veins of the leaves you can punch. And um, at the end, I'll show you what that would look like. 
but as I said, this works really well by itself, this, this punch. And I, I, I know I have some people in mind that I know would love to be able to make these flowers. And so I don't want you to miss out on this. All right, I'm going to leave my leaves how they are. These two little pieces, fold those up, fold those up. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to take one of my bases and I'm going to use our Tombow um, liquid glue. It seems to work best um, on this project. All right. Okay. So let me see if I can get the glue out. Get that all spread around on there. I like a good amount of glue. Okay. And I'm going to start with four of these. And I'm going to, let's see, which way do I want? I like it this way. It probably goes the other way, but this is the way I like to do them. So I'm going to do one. Two, and I do them opposite three and four okay so you could you could bring them really far in together but then your flower will just be smaller and I want mine to be bigger all right next I'm going to take the next four and do the opposite parts to overlap the leaves all right so one. Okay, I have glue on my fingers now. Okay. Two. Three. Oh, that one's backwards. Three and four. Okay. Now I want to get a little more glue just right here. Get a little more glue right here in the middle. Oh, that's way more glue than I wanted, but that'll work just fine. And I'm going to stick this next one on. Okay. And now I'm going to get some more glue on here. And so I can really push that glue around. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to do these four middle petals. So one, two, one, two. I probably used more glue than you need to use, but we're just going to go with it. So one, two, three, four. And then with these little guys right here, I'm going to do these right here. Oh, I need a little bit of glue right here. Okay, and I'm going to take my finger and press these down. Okay, so it can kind of get in there and hold. There we go. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick, let's see, I have three leaves here. So I'm just going to stick a little bit of glue on the end of each of my leaves. And as I said before, this is a lot easier if you don't glue all over your hands. Okay. And I'm just going to stick my flowers or my leaves right under where I think it looks good. So I'm going to go one right there. I'm going to do one right here. And I think I'll do one right here. Okay. I'm going to give that another push down. Okay. And then to finish it up, let me put my cap on my glue. To finish it up, I'm going to take one of these little sparkly um, sparkly guys. You can use, though, a rhinestone would be pretty, a pearl, really anything. It doesn't matter. Just something glitter, glittery or sparkly. The punch um, is meant for you to take this X and so, like, stamp that out in yellow, maybe, and that would go right in the center of your poinsettia if you really wanted it, but I always like to add a little bit of bling. So I've got a little bit of glue that's still showing, but that's going to dry clear, so I'm not worried about that. And there you go, there's my poinsettia. Now, as you can see, this measures, let's see, let's measure it. It's about one, two, three. So it's about four inches across. This is about four inches across, or I guess four inches round. And it does have um, dimension to it. I could give it even more dimension if I would have crinkled them up even more. And I could have used dimensionals in between each layer instead of actual glue. And that would have popped it up even more. But I want to show you, so this is a traditional poinsettia, which is what the festive builder punch, um, was intended, um, to make.
but I want to show you some other uh, flowers. So here's one that I did. Here's another poinsettia. Now this one is using the stamp set, the Reason for the Season stamp set that goes along with it. And all I did was I used Whisper White um, cardstock and I stamped in real red the veins of the leaves onto this one and then did the little X in black. Um, and there you go. So this is um, another look. Here I did this one. This kind of looks like a Hawaiian flower to me. This one I did in soft sky. And I put one of our little pearls in the center there. See? And it's just really pretty. Um, has dimension to it. And this would look really pretty on a gift package or on a wedding gift or a birthday present. But this kind of looks like a Hawaiian flower to me. So just by changing up the color, it completely changes um, the look of the flower. This one I did in crumb cake. Again, so this is just a basic flower. Um, I put just something sparkly in the middle. It doesn't matter what you use. Anything sparkly in the middle just really um, jazzes it up. Okay, and now this one I tried um, by doing two-tone. So this I did with um, Crushed Curry and Calypso Coral. And um, as you can see, there's lots of possibilities when you do multicolors. So these could be um, really pretty to do. And then finally, this one's my favorite. Well, besides the basic poinsettia, which I love, this one... I did in the Blushing Bride Glimmer Paper. This Glimmer Paper is on the retiring list, so this is only available while supplies last. We have lots of Glimmer Paper um, that we're going to be carrying, but the Blushing Bride is being discontinued. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? And if you really take the time to bend these leaves up, I didn't, I was just rushing, and so I didn't take the time to really do that. But you could give this a lot of dimension, but that sparkle, oh, I wish you could see it in real life. It's amazing. So pretty. And again, this is just some, some bling that I had on hand. I'm pretty sure it's retired at this point. But I just wanted you to see what that looks like. So let me zoom out here so you can see all of them. So this, let's see, one, two, three, four. These are just six um, flowers I made with this Festive Builder Punch. And literally, I spent probably 10 minutes total doing all six of these. So the possibilities really are endless. There's lots of ideas and lots of things you can do. So don't miss out on this Festive Builder Punch. Again, it's only available until May 31st, 2017 um, or while supplies last and we won't be seeing it again. So again, look for this, the Festive Builder Punch. Hope this was helpful. Thanks, guys. Bye.